In this video, we're gonna learn how to put together the Mofez firewood rack. Can't really see it here, but we'll be seeing it in a minute when we put it together, so stay tuned. Like most firewood racks, the Mofez one comes in a box in pieces. So we're gonna have to put all these together. Luckily, I've done it before and I can show you how to do it now. The assembly directions are not the best. Uh, it's basically a diagram like this and you have a few steps down here, but it's easy enough and we're gonna get to it right now. Okay, so it comes with all this. It's got all the hardware you need. It has these brackets. These are all the same. These here with the little uh, lip on them right here. These are all the same too, all four of them. Both of these are the same and both of these uprights are the same. But when you get to these, they all look the same at first glance, but you'll notice these ones the holes are lower and these ones the holes are higher. That's important. You're going to need to note that difference. There's four of each. Then you have these here. These are the same too. So upon emptying the contents of the bag, you have your tools, you have a bunch of nuts, and you have two screws. You have shorter screws and longer screws. It's important to note the difference. And then you have these end caps here. So here's the contents of the bag, and now let's start putting this together. For step one, you need one of these pieces here. You need one of these brackets. You need one of these that does not have the indentation, just one of the straight pieces. And then you need this here. It's going to go together pretty simply. The first two holes line up with the two holes on this. The next two holes line up with the two holes on this. And then the bracket is going to go over both of them just like that. So let's put this together. Forgot to mention you're going to be using the longer screws, the long screws for this part. So I'm going to take my piece, slide it in there to line the holes up, take my bracket, put it on top, put a screw in there now to get it started. And I put it in the wrong hole, so we'll put it over here. And I'm gonna need a nut so I can tie it all in. And I'm gonna do this with all, with both of these holes and the same thing on this side here. After this section is assembled, it will look like this. You see the bolts come through here. I just snugged them up. I did not tighten it yet. But now we're going to do the same for this side here. So now I have both of these sides put together. And you'll notice this lip right here, it sticks out away from there. It's not facing inside, it's facing out. It's not so important, but that's the way it is in the directions. So you can see this piece goes across the top then this bracket goes on and these two just go inside and are just screwed on or bolted on with these bolts and you do you have the pot with the uh, flat end here and then this end is blunt and we're going to put brackets on this side with two more pieces next next we're going to put these brackets on and then we're going to take another one of these the same that's on this end but we're gonna put it on this end here. And we're gonna do the same thing with another plate going across the top. And again, we're gonna use the larger bolts for this. Now we'll do the same for this side here. Bracket goes underneath this. Bracket goes over this. And these just bolt together right here. All right, 
So this is the base. Now, remember before I was talking about how you had two of these. You have ones where the, the holes are closer to the end and ones where they're further up. We're going to be using the ones where they're further up. So it's not here, the hole is up here for this next step. We got four of them. So these four with the holes that are further up, they bolt to this flat plate here. And these are the feet. So all four of these are going to bolt to these flat plates right here. And we're going to use, I believe, these shorter screws. Um, yeah, we're using the shorter screws. Everything else from here on is the shorter screws. And that's a good thing because those are the only ones left. So again, this is all nice and easy. Just put the bolts in. Just put it here. Right in there. We're going to screw them together. Now, the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory, actually. It's very easy. I mean, you have this end, this end that's got this groove here, then this end that doesn't. You'll notice that these ends have that little groove on them. So you just take this and you just put it in here. And we're just going to bolt it together. So you just take all of these, just plop them right in there, just like that. Again, take the smooth side. You want the holes on the same, you want the holes on the same side. So you don't, you don't want it like that, you want it like this. And then what do you know, you have notches right here, you know, notch right there too, and, and this doesn't have the notch, that's the uh, top piece here. So you just take it, slide it in there, that's it. And then I'm just gonna add bolts to it just like I did on this side, just put the bolts through the holes, put the nuts on, it's very simple. So now you take your two little tools here and just go over every single nut that we just put in, every single bolt. Don't forget about the bottom, uh, tighten these all up, and then that's it, you'll be 100% good to go, go over every single one. So I'm gonna do more uh, tutorial videos like this about how to put stuff together. And do let me say that the link to buy this is in the description. I have an Amazon affiliate link. It would help me out if you click that link to buy this. So anyway, I hope that you learned how to put this together. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.